Hi, food lovers. My name is Adrian, and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're back on the Gold Coast, checking out the most popular Aussie food, the famous meat pie. All it took was a quick search on Google to reveal a number of websites and endless reviews praising Foster's Bakery for their fantastic meat pies. Foster's is a second generation, family owned and operated business, which was established in 1983, right here in Mermaid Beach on the Gold Coast. This good old fashioned bakery makes everything in house using quality ingredients combined with their family recipes results in some delicious creations. Not only do they make 14 different types of meat pies, but a variety of sweets, donuts, custard slices, and bread, amongst other things. When a business does not need a website or a presence on social media, you know that they must be doing something right. And as long as they keep producing quality pies, they'll probably be around forever. At least that's what the locals say. To quote top3gc.com, forget the hoo-ha of trendy cafes. If you want a great homemade pie, look no further than this quaint little shop tucked away in Nobby Beach, easily the best on the Gold Coast. And on that note, let's go order and see just how awesome they actually are. Hey guys, slight change of scenery. Uh, had to come to a local park. The um, lady from the uh, bakery mentioned that due to COVID they had to get rid of the tables and chairs. So anyway, we drove to a, a local park and today uh, being a Wednesday, there were only maybe three, four people ahead of us and there's three ladies that work there. So everything happened very, very quickly. Uh, now, today I ended up ordering four items from the menu three pies and a sausage roll. Now my go-to pies usually are the curry beef and usually the chicken and vegetables. Now the lady that served me mentioned that their signature pie is the lamb and rosemary, which uh, truth be told is not, you know, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a, a lamb pie before. Uh, so this should certainly uh, be interesting. But as I said, besides the lamb and rosemary, I got the chicken and vegetables and the, uh, the beef curry pie as well. So, firstly, let's get stuck into the curry chicken and vegetable pie. So, that's what it, uh, it looks like. Take it out of the... There you go. Let's try this. Love the pastry, very flaky. Actually, this is the, <laughs> the curry beef. Beef mince with vegetables. It's not spicy. But it's got that good, strong kick of curry. Very good. All right, next one. Let's try the chicken. That's what that looks like. Hmm, okay. So that's a um, chunky chicken pie. Good sized pieces. Oh yeah, it's got carrots. Onion. And uh, green capsicum. Hmm. Good sized chicken piece too. Hmm. I like it. Lastly, the lamb and rosemary, which is actually the most expensive. That was $6.10. The chicken and vegetable was $5.50 and the curry beef was $4.90. So the lamb and, oh great, and now it started drizzling. <laughs> Perfect. The lamb and 
rosemary. So this has got chunks of lamb, very good sized chunks. Okay. It's probably definitely the sauciest. It's probably got the runniest mixture of the three of the three pies. Good size. Hmm. Very good flavor. The lamb is, oh, extremely good flavor. And it's got vegetables in there as well. Hmm, very good. Lastly, can't go to a bakery without buying a sausage roll. Hmm. Very flaky, the pastry, very good. Crunchy, very crunchy. I like it. If only the chips I've been eating on the Gold Coast so far have been as crunchy as this sausage roll. Very good. For me personally, I would always choose a meat pie over a sausage roll. I, I do prefer, I guess, the, the fact that Meat pies are more runny, they're not, you know, dry like sausage rolls are. And I do like the variety of flavors that you get with meat pies, where usually sausage rolls are just sausage roll flavor. It is good. All right, now I'll finish eating the rest of the pies and then I'll be back uh, with my final thoughts. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, just finished eating. Uh, I should mention that those four items, the three meat pies and the sausage roll were just over $20 um, plus, the, plus the drinks, so just under 25 bucks, which is very well, very reasonably priced. Now, as I mentioned, uh, my, my go-to pies are always the chicken and vegetable pie and the beef curry pies. So that was a first for me, the lamb and rosemary. Uh, I wasn't sure how well I'd like it, but to my surprise, it was actually the, the tastiest of the three of them. It definitely packed the most flavor. Uh, I think it's not just the, the rosemary, but I think it's the vegetables and everything else uh, that was in that sauce. Absolutely fantastic. Look, 10 out of 10 for that pie. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Now, usually out of... Uh, curry beef and chicken vegetables I would always pick the the curry beef uh, in this case it was a very good pie uh, just like the chicken and vegetables um, but what I was uh, surprised at the fact that the chicken and vegetable pie had the least amount of flavor of the three pies um, I, I think it's to do with maybe not adding as many maybe herbs and spices in in, in the mixture uh, but certainly, uh, yeah, I, I found that definitely the, the lamb and rosemary, number one, um, the curry beef, number two, and then number three, the chicken and vegetable pie. Uh, now, I've had chicken and vegetable pies from a variety of bakeries throughout Brisbane, and, you know, some have been excellent, as one particular comes to mind. Um, usually, they're, they're very good, but this one I found to be probably just above average, to be honest. So, probably about a six out of ten. Or the chicken and vegetable pie. The uh, beef and curry was probably about a seven. And as I said, the lamb and rosemary easily 10 out of 10. The sausage roll, as I said, they're not usually my go-to menu item. I would definitely pick a meat pie for sausage roll, but that was good. Again, probably about a six out of 10. So, you know, overall, do I recommend this place? Definitely. Um, I, you know, do they have the best meat pies overall? You know, probably not. As I said, I have had better um, chicken and vegetable pies and I've had better beef curry pies as well. Uh, but that lamb and rosemary was, was, uh, was fantastic. 
Uh, customer service was, was also very good. Um, probably about seven out of 10, I found. The, the lady that served me, you know, she was, she was friendly. She, you know, greeted me nicely. I asked her questions about what's popular and, and, and what's their, you know, their signature this, which, which I said she, she recommended. So, um, you know, overall, definitely a, a thumbs up from me uh, for this particular place. Thank you for joining me again, guys. And uh, remember, never trust a skinny food critic.